Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, we're looking at Psalm 119, and we're down to the seventh stanza. And this stanza is called Zion, which is the seventh letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Every line, every verse in these eight verses, verses 49 through 56, start with the Hebrew letter Zion. That is to help them memorize this entire chapter of 176 verses. Now, these verses actually are about remember. Now, if you might remember, the book of Deuteronomy was the book of the second law. It was Moses' swan song. He was about to die, and the people of Israel had been wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. The new generation was about to enter into the promised land. He was reminding them of God's law. If you read the book of Deuteronomy, you'll find that some 14 times the word remember is, uh, or 15 times the word remember is used, and the word forget is used some 14 times. And this was so that this new generation would remember what God had taught his people and the law that God had given them, his word that he had given them. And that's why Moses repeated the law in Deuteronomy to this new generation, lest they would forget. And they were told to pass this on to their children and to their grandchildren and to repeat them and talk about them all the time. And that's uh, what these verses actually are about. You'll read at least three times in these verses the word remember. So let's read these eight verses, 49 through 56, and make a few comments. And so the psalmist says, Remember the word to your servant upon which you have caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for your word has given me life. The proud have had me in great derision, yet I do not turn aside from your law. I remembered your judgments of old, O Lord, and have comforted myself. Indignation has taken hold of me because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I remember your name in the night, O Lord, and I keep your law. This has become mine because I keep your precepts. Now, several things we see here in these verses. And first, that is God remembers. God remembers his people. That means God pays attention to them. He works on behalf of them. Now, God remembers. Now, the truth is God can never forget because he is God. But at the same time, for him not to remember our former transgressions, chapter 25 of Psalms, is because he does not hold them against us. He cast them behind his back, so to speak. But the psalmist here is saying, Lord, remember your word to your servant. Remember the promises you've made to me, because this and your testimonies and your judgments that I have seen in the past, because this gives me hope. This gives me hope. My friend, there's not much hope in the world as it is. You can't hope in what people say it appears, but my friend, you can always hope in the Lord. And he says, it's my comfort and my affliction. He's talking about in verse 51, the proud have had me in great derision. So he is facing some kind of conflict with proud, arrogant people, and they're putting him down. But he says, that's okay. I don't care what they say. What I care is what God says. And that's what's important. And that's where I find comfort in the midst of my trial, my affliction. God comes alongside me. The word comfort, he comes alongside me and gives me strength when I need it as I face the problems and challenges of life. And so in verse 52, I remember your judgments of old. He thinks about what God has done in the past and how God has done, taken care of the evil people and God has rewarded the righteous people. And he knows that God is a God of judgment. And then he says, I remember your name in the night. I remember your name in the night. The night season is the tough time, is the dark time. It's the time that evil reigns. And he says, in that time, I remember your name, O Lord. Jehovah, Yahweh, the name that's above every name, the name that recognizes the character of God and displays the character of God, that God is holy, God is just, God is good. And he says, I remember your name in the night. And then he says, and I keep your law. 
and this has become mine. I have your name. I have you on my side, and I know everything's going to be all right. Well, what a great eight verses. Zion, these verses that remind us we need to remember because God remembers, and He is there to help us. God bless, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.